Hello there YouTube, Carmen here. Just want to wish you all a happy 4th of July. I'm out here in my back porch barbecuing some chicken for dinner in addition to some other things, but the chicken takes the longest. So I thought I'd get a head start on that. My family's inside watching TV or whatever. I'm smoking my Washington cob pipe, Missouri Meerschaum, and in it I've got Kramer's Extra Mild Blend, I believe it is, and it's an English blend, Extra Mild like the name says, with no lot of Kia. So I figured since I was barbecuing, I kind of had a craving for an English blend since it tastes like barbecue. So the first time I smoked this blend and it's really good. It's got a nice savory flavor. A little bit peppery. But it's pretty good. I guess it's a mix of Cavendish and Virginia's. I'm trying to smoke it slow so I don't get the tongue bite. So I'm learning. But I think I can understand why all of you like your English blends. Since most of you are from the South and y'all are famous for your barbecue, I could see why you guys really like the English blends. And for me, I guess I gotta be in the mood for barbecue or something to smoke English, because normally I prefer sweet stuff, but this is really good right now. Now I can't wait to try the Frog Morton that It's All About Pipe sent me. Maybe I'll smoke some of that later on today. But ever since my family from Costa Rica came to stay with me over a week ago, got my barbecue cleaned up and running. And now that's all I want to do is barbecue. I don't even want to cook in the kitchen anymore. I would just prefer just barbecue every night. Let's take a look here. Look at that. I'm trying to angle the camera here. And I am making... There we go. Chicken yakitori. I'll give you the recipe in a minute after I baste these. <coughs> Excuse me. Got my thermometer in there. It's about 375. Here's my chicken yakitori sauce. Basically what that is is um, 8 ounces of soy sauce, 8 ounces of sake, and um, 2 ounces by weight of sugar. You mix all that up use half of it to baste the chicken with. You don't want to marinate the chicken because chicken takes on flavor quite quickly and with the soy sauce being really salty. Anyways, the recipe didn't call for marinating and call for basting so I figured there's got to be a reason why a chicken would probably be too salty otherwise. So you take the chicken and I drenched it in the mixture, put it on the grill and I'm basting it every now and then. Um, the second half of the mixture, what you're going to do with that is um, you're going to um, take out about a quarter cup of that, add some cornstarch, make a slurry with that. The rest of it you're going to bring to a uh, boil or simmer 
then put in your cornstarch slurry in that and make a sauce out of it. When you're ready to eat, you just, you know, pour the sauce, drizzle it over the chicken. So I'm doing that. Probably not a traditional barbecue, but I thought it sounded good. Got some hamburgers I'll grill later. I'm gonna do grilled corn. Got some fruit salad. Don't have the ingredients needed for coleslaw, which I really wanted, or potato salad. So we'll see what my sister cooks up for a starch. But that's it. I'm gonna eat that. More families coming over, and then we're gonna drive out to the desert to watch the fireworks show that they're gonna have at the fairgrounds. So we'll drive out there, park some lawn chairs, and watch that about 9:30. So anyways, just wanted to say hi, wish you all a happy 4th of July, show you what I'm cooking up. And if y'all are barbecuing too, I'd like to know what you guys are barbecuing. You all being from the south, you got the best barbecue. I'm just a beginner barbecuer. But anyways, that's all I have for now. So y'all have a good evening and God bless.